Okay, let's talk history and see where the basis of human rights originated from. Up until around 539 BC, human rights had no meaning and the world only knew savagery and slavery. Until a new kind of ruler appeared in Persia called Cyrus the Great. Cyrus believed that it is better to be loved than feared, and so he respected people of all kinds, even those he conquered. So many joined the Persian Empire without a fight, like the people of Babylon. There he freed the slaves, many of whom were Jewish, and helped them return to their homeland to rebuild their temples and to practice their religion. 2,500 years ago, Cyrus made a historic proclamation of his views and laws on a clay cylinder known as the Cyrus Cylinder, which became known as the first declaration of human rights, religious tolerance, and individual freedom. Around 370 BC, Xenophon, a student of Socrates, wrote the book Cyropedia, an account of what made Cyrus an ideal ruler. Through this book, Cyrus's humanitarian ideals spread and influenced intellectuals all over the world, including the Founding Fathers of America, who owned multiple copies of the Cyropedia and who centered the U.S. Constitution on the same ideals of religious and individual freedom originated by Cyrus. In 1886, over 100,000 people led by the French helped create the Statue of Liberty, a symbolic gift that recognized America as the leading light for these ideals and of freedom around the world. And since 1971, a replica of the Cyrus Cylinder sits in the halls of the United Nations as a reminder of the importance of these same ideals to all humanity. In 2013, Farhang Foundation, a non-profit, non-religious, non-political cultural organization, partnered with the Getty Museum and other cultural organizations to bring the Cyrus Cylinder from the British Museum to Los Angeles, where it became the most visited exhibition in the museum's history. On the strength of this reception, Farhang decided to commission a permanent landmark called Freedom, a Shared Dream, to celebrate the shared humanitarian and multicultural ideals that originated from Cyrus, the great king of Persia, and inspired the founding fathers of America. Once built, this monument to freedom and coexistence will be officially gifted to stand in the heart of the city of Los Angeles as a permanent reminder of our shared humanity. Farhang's goal is to inspire over 100,000 people to support the creation of this monument, so we become just the second example in history where this many people got together to create and gift a monumental symbol to freedom as a shared cultural value. Imagine that. Then add your support. Like our Facebook page and tell your friends.